Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragedy the Garnering. I'm working through my backlog, which goes back as far as December of 2018. It is now nearly the end of April 2019. Just gotta get it done. Um, life doesn't allow me a whole lot of time to do this. I just do it when I can. So sometimes these auction lots get left in a corner and I get around to them eventually. So we're doing that now. This one in particular I got from Shop Goodwill. Uh, out of Lane and South Coast Countries, which I guess is in Oregon. Um, and it was, with the shipping, about 300 bucks. Um, it's about 16, 17 pounds of cards, so it should translate to about 4,000. Um, so we're going to go through it now. It's been long enough that I can't actually access the original listing, so I can just have a picture of it. You can't really see what was in these little... Um, pictures here um, I don't remember so I think this is a howling mine um, there so let's open it up and find out here it is from Eugene Oregon oops yep there we go it's just Gambling on that cardboard. Okay, so this packing material is weird. Every time I see it, it really throws me for a loop. It ends up actually being really heavy. So, it takes up some of the actual weight of cards. So, that kind of lowers the amount of cards that this probably was. So, it's probably still about 3,500, 4,000 cards. Um, where to start? I guess we can just take a little sample. And just see, okay, there's actually a fat pack box here. And the first one is a thought cutter agent from, is that Shards of Alara? So there is some kind of older stuff in here and it's in sleeves. Yeah, Alara block stuff like Slave of Bolus. So that's, that's fun, I like that um, era. And then you got Battle for Zendikar stuff. All the way to Dragons of Tarkir and there's that revised Howling Mine. And there's a foil, so um, hopefully there's more stuff like that. Older cards. It is hard to sell, or hard to tell. Hey, we got a Gisela, the Broken Blade, so that's promising. So I'm gonna probably start going through this. Um, hey, we got some some oversized, some arch enemy stuff here. That's fun too. So, well, time to start scanning and go through this all. Okay, it is finally time to start going through this. It's actually now been a few more months. So, you just got to dig into this box and make this happen and produce a video. Here we go. Bunch of Ixalan stuff. Commons and uncommons. The typical stuff you would find if you just opened a bunch of packs and pulled out the rares. And then gave the rest to the thrift store. And you run into that a lot when you buy from Goodwill if you're not careful, which I try to be. But it doesn't always work out that way. Because I try to gamble a bit on the possibilities. And it doesn't always pan out. So that's what you do. That's what you do. Uh, see like the Ixalan's Binding, that actually, whoop, that's a good uncommon that got left behind. It's uh, worth a buck. So and it's probably just gone up a bit since it was opened when it first came out. Walk the Plank, I don't know if that's worth a whole lot. It might have been, I think, when it was released, but not right now. And as usual, anything under 90 cents is going to come off this list. I love Ixlan. I think it's a fun set. I like pirates. I like dinosaurs. Well, that's not Ixlan. Talisman of Unity. Um, okay, so there was some mix in here. That one is not the good talisman. A Nyx Fleece Ram. It used to be okay. I think it had got... Uh, Reprinted. I'm gonna put that in my bulk pile. It might buy this for something. Whoop! In Soul Artifact is another one that's kind of okay, but it's not really 
Too special. Here we go. More Ixalan. Okay. Field of Ruin, I think, is a good one. Yeah, wow. Almost four bucks, so that's worth picking. Again. Field of Ruin again. Okay, well, hopefully they left several of those behind. A siphon sliver from M14 in played condition. It's a decent rare. Definitely like moderate play, probably. And Dora Destinies. Okay, so there's some rares right here. Commander version. The bit. Destinies would be a good card, but it's definitely played up there. In Garrick's Wake is uh, a little bit as well okay interesting yeah these are totally different part of the collection apparently this might have been a few different donations um, obviously the newer stuff was just open packs and throw away basically and then this older stuff looks like it spent time at the bottom of someone's backpack maybe yeah, it's all it's all used up there. Here is the revised glasses of Urza. Common lands. So there's that Gisela the Broken Blade that we had found when we opened the box, and you can join it into Brazella Voice of Nightmares. Uh, it is a mythic. And it's actually ten bucks, so that's good. I'm going to call that a hit right there. Um, this one here is a revised Tally Mine. And <laughs> um, about as heavy play as you can get. Would anyone pay a couple bucks for that maybe? Or should I put it back in the sleeve? There it is anyway. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Spirit Token and some other kind of newer stuff that's interesting all right on to the next row here more kaladesh And Jiraga Tree Speaker. So these are some older ones that are mixed in. They might have, they must have come from the next row. Channel the Suns. Nothing big there. Full art Zendikar Forest. I'll pull one of those. Whoops. Couple of originals. I does it even recognize them? Yeah. Fifty cents there. Of course, not going to go for that much, but I always pull full arts. Here's some battle versions. I'll take those. And the Dusk Watch Recruiter, whoops, is uh, probably the best uncommon out of the set at a couple bucks.
And some wastes. Bunch of them, huh? Okay, let's see. Wastes are 78 cents. Which is not bad. But it's not going to count. We got a bunch of them. So, in fact, they continue on to the next stack here. That's a lot of wastes right there. That's interesting. So I picked out all of Oath of the Gatewatch wastes. So this is the other. There we go. That's the other art. Is this any better? Oh, just under 90 cents for that one. Does not count, but I got a bunch of these, so I'll definitely pull them. <laughs> buy list them for I don't know 10 cents 15 cents whatever they'll give me there's a bunch of them there and then some full art planes well one anyway <laughs> well okay so they pick out all of the rares and leave behind a foil Tezzeret Master of Metal. Now is this the one from the um, like the dual deck or whatever? Three bucks is a foil. Yeah, so it must only come in foil. Um, so, but anyway, it's a foil mythic and it's a planeswalker and uh, it's in pretty good condition. Uh, really not bad for just being a loose foil in the in the box there so I'll take it energy token servo token clones they're rares but I know we don't even need to scan them oh a steam vent hey well we can scan that one that's cool Wow, much better. That's the best card we found so far, I think. Right up there with Gisela. Okay, so it's not completely full of commons. And a lightning bolt. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We got a day of judgment here. A couple bucks there. Different version. I'm sure it won't make a big difference. There's another clone. This is interesting gotten into a different section oh great gotten into a different section of this box here and there's actually some kind of interesting stuff here so that's a couple of shock lands there sacred foundry is almost 10 bucks great and a redirect is not molten rain I think is yep just a little bit a buck 46 there Cool, there's a couple of those. Bing, bing. So there's three Molten Rains. Stone Rain and Demolish. So someone separated cards that can destroy lands right here. That's strange. A Forked Bolt and there's a Chandra the Firebrand. That's nothing big, but it's, I might pull it. Change of the Firebrand from M13 is nothing, not a big one either, but it's a Planeswalker. Sarah Avenger, it's not bad either. Dragon Skull Summit, oh, wow, that's really interesting. Four Dragon Skull Summits, okay. Well, this is, uh... Kind of getting here so it was three m13s and one m12 i'm just going to call it four m13s uh, that was a nice little nice little grab right there blood artist love this card when i get to play oops we're stuck here oh my gosh we missed all of that 
All right, there, the scanner was frozen. Now we're all cut up. You can see we got four Dragon Skull Summits, a Sarah Avenger, and some other stuff. We just got a Blood Artist, so that's a winner there. Okay. Time to go through the rest of this box and see what else there is. Some full art. I'm kept forests there. Not the worst. Got some full art Zendikar forests. Also not bad either. So cool. We'll take those. More of these. Um, yeah, they're they used to be worth a lot. <laughs> well, like you know, up to two bucks. Um, but then they started printing more and more full art lands and the price has come down but they're still pretty desirable people like full art basic lands better than a regular basic land in a lot of cases so wow here's a bunch of them a lot of battle for Zendikar full art forests right there okay cool and here's some more and some more and some more oh my gosh and some more wow okay um wow that's pretty cool um just out of curiosity 41 cents for a full art battle for zendikar forest just curious the trade in value two cents <laughs> i might be able to do a little better just selling them on ebay um as a stack um, especially since oh, these are in their near mint condition nothing wrong with these at all and man there's a bunch of them okay well there they are and here's some more wow so gosh someone opened a ton of battle for Zendikar and did not want the full art lands. So here's some I am kept planes and some Zendikar planes. So the original Zendikar plane um different version. Yeah, you can't really pick the different land on the TCG player app. I've noticed that before. But wow, this is it's not bad to have a giant stack here's more there's uh, okay well at least this will go quick if they're all the same full art planes after planes after planes gosh there's tons okay well that's, I'd rather have those than the regular basic lands. Um, here's some swamps. Full art, full art, full art. Okay. Wow. Well, I can just quickly go through, I think, this stack. And here's some more. Amazing. Oh, we got something foil coming up here. Niblis of Frost. Um... Got a little bit of a curl to it there. Let's see if the scanner can even see it. It has a hard time with foils sometimes. Bing. So that's a promo version. Yeah, the intro pack version. It's a buck. And we're back to some full arts. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, let me do something with these. Put them over here, I guess. Oh, Full Art Islands now. Wow. Okay. Is that what we got here? Mountains and islands. Wow. Yep, the whole stack. Uh, Battle for Zendikar Islands. I always like this one with the big bowl of floating island dumping water out. 
yeah not even 50 cents but better than nothing okay so those are islands are we getting mountains next looks like it um, okay should I just kind of flip them is that a foil that I see now full our mountains okay that's um, a big stack of each color of full art lands all right cool um, I think I'll move those aside somewhere Flame Slash. It's not bad for a common. I always seem to want to pull those. Pyretic Rituals. Yeah, I always want to pull those too. One, two, three, four of those. Okay, great. Frost Walker. That's a Friday Night Magic. Promo for 40 cents. Day of Judgment. Okay, so there's still rares in this. Box. Oh, Glacial Fortress. Excellent. Yeah. That's good. Six bucks there. I guess I'll put it right there. I don't know what I'm doing. Redirect. I think we found one of those before. It's a bulk. Day of Judgment again. Hmm. It's the M12 version. What? Tamiyo the Moon Sage just in the middle of all this great and it's in good condition solid right there 21 okay <laughs> lightning bolt okay I'm starting to kind of like this I definitely like this better than the bulk stuff M11 lightning bolt 285 uh, there's another steam vents. Okay, very cool. Um, yeah, that was like 12 bucks. Another lightning bolt. Come on, can we start picking up the pace here and maybe get closer to breaking even? I just want to see it as arch enemy version. Here, hold on. Take that one off, put this one on. Oh, interesting. And the head the Eternal, but it's been played without sleeves. Would be seven bucks. I mean, it's moderate play at best. Soul of Innistrad. And the head the Worthy. Oh, no way. What? Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. Uh, Spirit of the Hunt is not much. But Liliana, the Last Hope. Oh, I love this card. If zombie tokens, please, for 46 bucks. Wow. Okay, I'm really confused about this box now. <laughs> there was so much bulk. They took out, like, efficiently a lot of the rares. Left behind just bulk. And then one of the biggest Mythic Planeswalkers of the last few years. Wow. Cool. Um, that one needs a sleeve. I just sent a couple of these away, actually. Um, I'll 
card sphere, believe it or not. Um, I'll take another one. That is great. Bedlam Reveler. Three bucks, so... They left the good Eldritch Moon stuff, apparently. Some of it. Hornet Queen. Cool. I'd like to see some rares getting left behind here. Let's see, here's some Arch Enemy cards. These are the schemes, which are very cool. Um, I think I have uh, most of a full collection of these. I might double check if I need any of these. I've actually never had a chance to be able to play this. Um, from what I hear is it's tough to beat the Arch Enemy. There's a regular card coming up. What is this? A red elemental blast revised edition it's nothing really but love the scheme names dance pathetic marionette your puny minds cannot fathom <laughs> these are great I'm gonna kind of go through these slow if you want to look on roots of all evil only blood ends your nightmares realms befitting my majesty some of these are worth a little bit these are kind of messed up Nature shields its own. The dead shall serve. Every hope shall vanish. A display of my dark power. I like the idea of these oversized cards and having like big global effects like this. I like the the plane shift um, uh, cards as well. It's plane shift or planescape? I can't remember. I think it's planescape. I delight in your convulsions. My undead horde awakens. Very nice. May civilization collapse. It's so very villain, right? Every last vestige shall rot. You can hear the cackling. Your fate is thrice sealed into the earth and maw. Yep. Very cool. I'll probably just end up keeping these, and eventually, someday, someone will want to play it with me. All right, there's those. That's that's for me. Some iconic master stuff. That's interesting. It's a foil survival cache with a big gash across it. Oh, a Knight of the Reliquary. And it's like got some pressure marks on it. It's not perfect. Um, it's a rare from iconic rat masters. That um, is interesting. Secure the wastes. Three ninety nine. There's a promo, the Dragon Lord. Actually, six bucks, and unfortunately, got some issues. So, yep. Even if I break even on this money, like number wise, there, um, the condition is gonna drag it way down. But I'll tell you what, though, this is. Um, Turned out a little better than I thought it was going to when I first started getting into it. So you always you gotta always see these things through and dig through them, and sometimes you end up breaking even. These are in 
not great shape. Wow. What? Oh uh, no, this is like the back of the pile too. These are all kind of messed up. Well, this one's really bad. This crater of behemoth, you can see it's got like a curl to it. Whoops, and I'm dropping it. I mean, it would be like kind of SP minus. Maybe, yeah, I mean, with the curl, it's firmly MP, hopefully not any worse, but it's a crater hoof behemoth from Avacyn Restore. That is cool. Um, yeah, 35 bucks there almost. That breaks us even, but condition-wise, obviously, is gonna we're going to get knocked back here quite a bit. So we got a Tamiyo and a crater hoof from Avacyn. The Tamiyo is much better. This was just in some pile with a bunch of stuff here that got smushed somehow oh that's a bummer but i'm just i'm kind of surprised at how many a few good really big cards have come out of this even though condition wise it's not great yeah look at this this marrow bats someone ate part of that one luckily they didn't eat the crater hoof behemoth but you can see this whole stack here uh, I don't know fell in the water or I don't know this one's not too bad but it's definitely not great so that's really interesting swift foot boots here is pretty not great I mean it's would be a couple bucks um, yeah condition wise this stuff is pretty not cool yeah this tomb blade is how <laughs> weird Okay. All right. Well, that's interesting. There's one more bit of this box left, and it's it's it was this part that was in this fat pack box, and a lot of it's in sleeves. So what is it? Gosh, there's like stuff falling all over my cards here. All right. Can we punch on through with this? This stuff in sleeves here. It's from a Lara block. These are thick sleeves too. So like the kind of heavy mylar ones. But these are just commons and uncommons, looks like. Thopter Foundry. Is that a oop bing bing? It's a it's a buck ninety nine. They're actually hard to deal with in these sleeves. Um, okay, so that one's okay. What else? Oh, there's another. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. After all of that. And a Karn liberated. What? Okay. This is. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm wondering if. It's so perfect. Is this real? I'm gonna have to grab my loop. I'll be right back. Okay. This is crazy. I don't know. I'm not sure. It kind of... It feels a little off, to be honest with you. I don't know. The, the rosettes look good black lines are sharp okay let me find the the green dot it's there you're kidding me this is a real car and liberated and it's like mint this is like pack fresh this is crazy 
Okay, I don't know. <laughs> this box has had like very little in it. I mean, there's been some good stuff, but it was so almost all bulk stuff. And a pack fresh Carn Liberated. For a different version. 74. Oops, and we're frozen. Well, there it is, 400 bucks. Unbelievable. Well, again, this is why I do this. You never know what you're gonna find. I can't find, I need a good sleeve. Wow. That's crazy. You know what? It actually has a slight bend to it. Can you see that? Yeah, it's it's not perfect. But the surface is. It's got like a little, I guess. It's a weird binder bend. Crazy. I'll take it. Unbelievable. Well, what else is in here then? Crater's Claws, World Fire. These, uh, yeah, this one's like packed fresh as well. Okay, hold on. Turn off my loop here. That one's nothing. World Fire. M13. This looks like a buck 45. This might be a little section of cards that someone actually sent away for to build a deck or something. Slag Storm is really nothing. Wild Slash. Claws. There's a Goblin Chieftain. Let's see. The rest of this is nothing. Three bucks there. Here's a Niv Mizzet. So this is the little mythic stash right here. But <laughs> only one of them was just um, awesome. There's a Protein Hydra, Angelic Destiny. Okay, there's some good stuff right here. Frost Titan is not much anymore. It's under 88 cents. Protein Hydra. Couple bucks there. Angelic Destiny. Yeah, it doesn't like the sleeves. Angelic Destiny. 894. Okay. This is uh this is where the goods are. Prairie Stream, a couple bucks. Haven't seen too many rare lands in this set. All right, this is this is the last of it right here. By Zero the Menagerie, Mythic from Amiket with some play to it. That would be five bucks. Illusion ritual. Hey, Malira. Yeah, a couple bucks there. And another prairie stream. And this stuff is all like played though here at the end. That is it. What a weird box that was. I mean it's it's all just random stuff from Goodwill, I think. As they got stuff magic related, they just threw it in this box and a good portion of it happened to be um, bulk stuff that someone dropped off. Um, but this other portion happened to be some pretty decent things. So um, that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna take everything off 90 cents.
Or below 90 cents, see how we did here. Okay, there's everything that is above 90 cents. Uh, total 428.43, minus some pretty bad condition on, on, on some of these things. Um, I would say I'd be lucky to break even um, with the, a lot of this stuff, but I am astonished to have found this Karn Liberated and this Liliana and this Crater Hook Behemoth, which is not in the best shape, but it, it's here and it exists in a Tamiyo and um, some pretty decent pickable stuff. So all in all, I'm happier than I thought I was going to be with this random buy. Um, make sure to like and subscribe um, for more videos like this if you're into it. Um, check out my Patreon link down below. Uh, Tragic MTG saying see you later. Thanks.